Ruliana, Lady Harley's family were on the side of Parliament in the civil wars. Their family seat, Brampton Brown Castle, was situated in a royalist enclave in North Herefordshire near the Welsh borders. In what was to prove to be her last letter to her son Edward, now serving in the military on the side of Parliament, Lady Harley wrote, For my dear son, Colonel Harley, my dear Ned, your short but welcome letter I received by Prosser, and as it hath pleased God to entrust you with greater change as to change your troop into a regiment, so the Lord in mercy bless you with a double measure of abilities, and the Lord of hosts be your protector and make you victorious. My dear Ned, how much I long to see you I cannot express, and if it be possible, in part meet my desires in desiring, in some measure as I do, to see me, and if it please the Lord, I wish you were at Brampton. I am now again threatened. There are some soldiers come to Lemster and three troops of horse to Hereford with Sir William Vervesa, and they say they mean to visit Brampton again. But I hope the Lord will deliver me. My trust is only in my God, who never yet failed me. I have taken a very great cold, which has made me very ill these two or three days. But I hope the Lord will be merciful to me in giving me my health, for it's an ill time to be sick in. My dear Ned, I pray God bless you and give me the comfort of seeing you, for you are the comfort of your most affectionate mother, Brilliana Harley, October 9, 1643. And it was indeed an ill time to be sick in. As her letter tells us, Lady Harley was aware that enemy troops were again gathering very nearby. That summer, the summer of 1643, Lady Harley had held her castle at Brampton Brown during a royalist siege. She was in sole command of the castle, in which three of her children and around a hundred other people, made up of soldiers and civilians, also lived. From September, when the siege was lifted, there was a truce, but tensions remained high. The castle had lost its roof and conditions within were hard. Just twenty days after writing to her son about her cold, Lady Harley died, aged around forty-four. Her worries for the castle were justified, for it was besieged again the following spring and came under much heavier fire. The family physician, Dr Nathaniel Wright, who had been left in charge, was forced to surrender after just three weeks. The castle, which Lady Harley had given her health and her future to defend, was then sacked and burned.